Hey guys, welcome back to another fan theory of Rick and Morty Season 3, Episode 9. Rick and Morty, as we all know, is one of the most successful shows of 2017. With Season 3 coming to an end, we all are anxious to know what is going to happen in the finale. And I think what I'm supposed oh, oh, excuse me, what I'm about to tell you is going to change how you see Rick and Morty. So, just a warning, warning, excuse me, uh, spoilers are, 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 um, are going to be in this video. Rick and Beth have had one of the most rocky relationships between a father and a da daughter in the history of television ever. There have been some other relationships like uh, Walter White and his mother, the way he lied to her. That was one of the most rocky relationships in television history until Rick and Morty came up with the concept of Beth and Rick's relationship. In season 3, episode 9, we found out that Rick had built a world for Beth to live in as a kid. And apparently, he left um, Beth's husband, former husband, in it, in, in that world with her. In one of the scenes where Beth is uh, talking to Rick wh while Rick is trying to reassemble his arm, if uh, you pay close attention, uh, the pupils that they have aren't the same as the ones they had in season one, meaning that these two are Rick and Beth's from another dimension. Now, at the end of episode nine, season three, Rick gives the option of cloning Beth to Beth. <laughs> to Beth. And we don't know what happens, but I think the pupils tell us that she actually did 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 end up cloning herself and leaving. And the Beth that we see is actually um, a clone Beth. That that is that is um, that is evident if you um, freeze frame one of the frames from the episode where their pupils aren't the same. That means that they're um, they're um, that means that Rick cloned Beth. This is evident because if we look way back into uh, Plato's cave allegory, we see that um, the people in the cave, their pupils would dilate each time the sun would come out and they would see something, meaning that they were all clones. Um, and yeah, that's basically what proves my point. So thank you for watching, and I will be uploading these every week. Um... Be sure to like, subscribe, uh, dislike, and comment on my video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.